in this lesson or in this class, uh, we are going to resume our topic that we were discussing, if you remember, uh, before the lockdown or when the colleges were closed. As you remember, uh, according to our course outline of Genetics 2 of the 8th semester, uh, we have three uh, topics in a row and uh, the title of these three topics is Mechanism of Genetic Change. Mechanism of Genetic Change 1, Mechanisms of Genetic Change 2 and Mechanisms of Genetic Change 3. Now, we are discussing uh, mechanism of genetic, uh, mechanisms of genetic change 2. We somehow skipped the first part, which was mechanism of genetics 1, gene mutation. In this uh, second part of the mechanisms of genetic change, we were discussing recombination. The general homologous recombinations, we have discussed uh, the holiday model, and now, as you can see, uh, the slide in front of you, it's a site-specific recombination or what they call the conservative site-specific recombination. As you can see from its uh, uh, title or uh, the name of this particular recombination, that this is specific recombination which takes place at a very specific site within the DNA molecule. Therefore, it is also known as conservative. Now, by specific, we usually mean that whenever recombination will take place in DNA, it will take place at that particular point, at that particular uh, sequence of the base pairs and not anywhere else. So, this is this is why it is known as site specific. It is not general, uh, what we have discussed before. However, uh, since it's a recombination, so the usual uh, process of recombination is that the DNA strands break and then uh, exchange parts and then they rejoin. And Similar to gen, uh, general recombination, there must be a certain amount of, a certain degree of sequence homology between the two sequences that are being exchanged. Now, it is commonly also known as SSRS, uh, site-specific, uh, sorry, uh, the enzymes for it are known as site-specific recombinases. Site-specific recombinases so as the name suggests, uh, it is not one enzyme. There are many enzymes, so they are known as site-specific recombinases. Uh, what these enzymes do, they bind to those sites, uh, which are short DNA sequences. These site-specific uh, recombinase enzymes, they recognize those sequences, they bind to it and then they cleavage the DNA molecule. After the cleavage, since it's a recombination, so exchange of DNA segments or small portions of the DNA molecules are exchanged. And when the exchange is complete, the final part is the rejoining of the DNA strands, so the DNA molecules become intact. But now, uh, they are in a recombined state or what we say that recombination has taken place. And since it takes place at a very specific point, at a very specific part or location of the DNA molecule and not anywhere else, so this is known as conservative or site-specific recombination. Site-specific recombinations uh, require, as we have just seen, various recombinase enzymes. However, uh, some of the site-specific recombinations require molecules other than site-specific recombinases. So they are usually known as uh, accessory proteins.
also we have some multiple genome modification strategies and these are the recombinase mediated cassette exchange rmce now we are going to discuss it shortly that what these cassettes are what do they mean the site specific recombinations uh, they are employed are used or they occur in various cellular processes like bacterial genome replication differentiation pathogenesis and movement of mobile genetic elements so these site specific recombinations uh, they can also be helpful for genetic engineers or they can be used as genetic engineering tools now what may be uh, the size of the recombination sites whether they are long stretches of dna molecules long portions of dna molecules or small ones so as you can see uh, they are quite small or the portions of the dna where recombination takes place they are uh, between 30 to 200 nucleotides and they contain two special motifs or portions or parts which have an inverted repeat symmetry so in one strand it the sequence will be uh, say a t g a or something like that and on the other we have the same sequence in inverted the same sequence inverted and these are the sites to which the recombinase binds and then flank a central crossover sequence at which the recombination takes place the pairs of sites between which recombination occurs mostly uh, they are identical but this is not the case always uh, like attp and attb of lambda integrase the lambda phage now this is uh, a diagram of uh, now one of uh, the best examples of site specific recombination um, are the lambda phages uh, you all know and you must have studied lysogeny lysogenic cycle of the virus it is usually the uh, lambda phage who carries out this uh, lysogenic cycle now this lambda phage when it its dna enters the host cell or the host bacterial cell it gets itself incorporated or it enters the uh, host dna at a very specific site so it can initiate or because of this prophage or the dna of this lambda phage uh, recombination might take place or what we call the site specific now this particular diagram we have taken from molecular biology of gene seventh edition uh chapter 12 which is uh, dedicated to this site specific recombinations now this particular uh, diagram is uh, showing how uh, or what is the outcome of recombination now as you can see uh, there are three uh, possible outcomes of site specific recombination one of the mechanism which is the first one on the left uh, a dna molecule is inserted in the second one as you can see the dna molecule is removed so the first one is insertion in the second recombination we get a new molecule which is smaller than the parent molecule or the original molecule because a part of the dna is deleted it is removed and in the third uh, case of uh, site specific recombination 
the DNA uh, which is inserted or DNA which is present already, it may get inverted. So uh, an inversion event occurs. So in site specific recombination, uh, we might get a new DNA molecule inserted into it or the DNA molecule may be a part of the DNA molecule may be removed. So we uh, get a deletion or the DNA molecule may be uh, inverted.